Hi, my name is Bill Brewa, chef instructor at the Culinary Institute of America, and today we're going to make a number of different rice bowls. To begin with, we need to make some jasmine rice, which we'll use in each of the rice bowls. To start with, I'm going to take some of this U.S. jasmine rice, and for a measured amount of rice, I want to use one and one-third parts liquid. So for the six cups of rice that I have in the rice cooker, I'm going to use eight cups of water. Now, in Asia, typically they cook their rice without salt, and I think that's a function of the food being so heavily spiced and seasoned. There's lots of soy sauce and, and stir fries available. If you prefer your rice with a little bit of salt, there's nothing to keep you from putting a tablespoon or two of salt into the rice cooker. That's all there is to it. About 45 minutes from now, this rice will be cooked. And today I'd like to show you a miso and soy glazed salmon rice bowl. This dish showcases an exciting new approach to flavor. As you taste this dish, you're struck by the harmony between contrasting elements. The salty miso and soy side by side with sweet mirin or sweet sugar. The aromatics of ginger and green onions that cut through the richness of salmon. All of this against a backdrop of nutty, aromatic jasmine rice. Let's get started. What I need to do first is make a marinade for the fish. And it starts with this, a little bit of salt, some soy, a little bit of white miso, sake, and also some sweetened rice wine, mirin. And I just want to break up the miso until it's smooth. And then we can finish up with the remaining ingredients. I've got some green onions, a little bit of sugar, and then finally some ginger. With all the ingredients for the marinade mixed together, typically what I do is I put them in a pan on the heat, bring it to a simmer to draw the flavor out of all the aromatics, and then allow it to cool before I put the sliced salmon into the marinade. I've already done that, and I have right here a bowl of salmon that's been marinating for about three or four hours. Next, I'd like to make a miso vinaigrette that couldn't be easier. It starts out with about a half a cup of red miso. Add that into the bowl along with some rice wine vinegar, some honey, a light soy sauce, peanut oil, garlic and ginger, aromatic sesame oil, and then finally a couple of tablespoons of water. Now you can do this in the blender, but just so it's easier for you to see, I brought an immersion blender down. Because of the miso, which acts as an emulsifier, this vinaigrette will never break. It gets nice and creamy, and it stays that way for an extended period of time. That's all there is to it. Okay, we've got all the components of the miso-glazed salmon rice bowl spread out in front of us here and available. The first step of this is to take some USA jasmine rice, which I cooked a little bit earlier. I used a rice cooker, but you can use a pot on top of the stove as long as you've got a tight-fitting lid on that pot. So the rice goes into a bowl, and I'm going to mix it with some snow peas that I've cut with just a few black sesame seeds for texture and flavor and some edamame. I'm going to mix these components up, and then I'm going to put them into the steamer just so that they can warm up.
I've got a, a couple of different components to this salad. One of them is julienne of scallion that I cut and soaked in ice water for a little while just so that they, they curled. I've got some cilantro also cut into a julienne, some daikon sprouts, a little bit of pickled ginger that's cut into julienne, and then finally some cucumber. And I'm going to dress this with just a little bit of rice wine vinegar. The vinegar I'm using here is actually the vinegar that came off of the pickled ginger. There's no reason to throw that away. So I'm going to mix this salad and set it aside. And then we can move on to cooking the fish. Now, if you'll recall, I marinated this salmon about three or four hours ago. I've got a nonstick pan, nice and hot. And I'm going to put a little bit of oil in it. Keep in mind that there's plenty of sugar in this marinade, so we have to watch this fish very, very carefully when we cook it. Once the pan is nice and hot, and the oil too, and the way you can tell is the oil begins to smoke, I'm going to take this fish piece by piece and just lay it into the pan. I don't know how you like your salmon, but for me, medium rare is just about right. So I'm going to put some nice color on the first side and then turn it and cook it on the second side. But my guess, a piece of fish about a half an inch thick won't take much more than a minute and a half or two minutes tops. If you can take a look, you see I've already got some beautiful color on this fish. I'm going to turn the pan down just a little bit and allow the residual heat to finish cooking this fish. If you like, you can spoon a little bit of the marinade over this fish, and that will give you sort of a lacquered appearance to the salmon. All right. Now, to build this rice bowl, I've got a bowl, and the rice that we steamed a little bit earlier is ready to roll. You know, as I look at this rice and, and soy, edamame, uh, I recognize it as complete protein. Huh? So while we're putting about three ounces of fish into this dish as well, this is really a nutritional powerhouse. I've got some broccoli that I steamed a little bit earlier. And I'm just going to tuck some into the top of this rice. The salmon looks absolutely delicious. I'm going to lay three pieces of salmon right on top of the rice. And then finally, we made this wonderful salad. And I wanted to gather together a three finger pinch of this salad and nestle it right here between the broccoli and the salmon. Now, if you recall, earlier we made a miso vinaigrette. And my idea was that the broccoli could receive a little bit of this miso vinaigrette and maybe a little drizzle over the rice as well. But when I eat a dish like this, I'm never happier than when I have the chance to add some of the components myself. So what I put together was a little selection of three different condiments. One of them, here on my left, is the miso vinaigrette. Right in the middle is a condiment called ketchup manis, which is a sweetened soy sauce. It tastes a little bit like soy with molasses mixed into it. So it's got a little bit of a sweetness underneath the salty. And then finally, if you like it spicy, here's a little bit of chili oil. And what I would do is offer up this miso glazed salmon rice bowl with a selection of condiments that you could add to your own taste.